what is up people welcome back to another episode of ftb continuum i hope everybody's doing all right i'm doing pretty good and uh i must admit guys there's a lot of things to do in between episodes it's a little bit time consuming uh i moved a couple of things here i've also changed uh, one thing with this pickaxe here uh we changed the middle piece, the binding, instead of being copper to give experience, I changed it to firewood. Uh, there's a simple explication for that, why I'm doing this. If, let's say, well, this is not enough. So let's go with the aluminum. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a line of the aluminum. And since this pickaxe has auto smelt, uh, so if you remember, we had 42 aluminum ore. So we're going to mine it with Auto Smelt and Fortune 3. And it's going to... Normally on a stack, it gives about 2.5 stacks. So it should give us more. That's always more than the normal amount that you had. And normally I'm about minimum doubling it. So if we calculate this, uh, we had about 42 at the start. Oh, wait, that was bad. That's 42. That's 42. And that's 17 more. So close to 2.5 just from going about and mining stuff. And I checked, since all the recipes have changed, there is nothing that I can mine that will change into something else. Except Netherrack. It's the only thing that will change into nether brick. And of course, well, if, if I mine uh, cobblestone, it will change into stone. Or if I mine stone, it will be stone. But check this out. I mine one block, I got three. So th that some people might think it's a bad thing because you get more stone. But you can get a void, uh, something to void. I think uh, the null thingy doodler is in here. Yeah, this thing here. So just grab a dev null, put the stone in there. And you're going to be fine to go. Uh, just grab a lot of stone first, because you will only have one stack with the dev null. So that's the thing. That is the thing. So click. let's click L and let's look a little bit at what we have over here. So there's two things we can do at the moment. We can go towards immersive engineering to get like the passive powers, like the the wheels and stuff, which is a really good idea. And I think it's going to be something we will go towards to. Or we can go towards a certain scientific altar. Which I think is the way we should go. So let's look at the empowerer. Empowerer. And uh, the other one is... Uh, I don't remember. Actually, what's the name? It's Display Stand. There you go. So those are the two that we need to do. To make the empowerer, we need to have a display stand. We need to have batteries, which contains a basic coil with nuggets of nickel around with this basic coil that we had at the beginning. So this one over here needs to be a double battery. So you need to make one. So there's like a couple that you need to do. And if we look at this one, we also need one of these. Over here, we need a copper uh, electron, and we need these. So let's do these first. Uh, so you need, we will need five of these. So that means the etheric, we need 10. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're gonna place that over there. Oh, also let's grab a little bit of coal. 16 should be enough. And we're going to place that in there. Bam. Get a power of things. Throw this over there. Click the button. There we go. We got the ethereal. Etheric. Etetic. All right. I always think it's ethereal. I don't know why. But we're going to need more of this. It's probably... No, etetic. All right. Uh, over here, it needs to be chiseled. And if you know how to make chisel, is you need to make slabs and then change it into chisel. So let's go here, like so, and then you, oh, this will do that. Wait, what? Wait, 
It absolutely needs to be placed there. No, it, oh my god, seriously? How can I make it? <laughs> what the heck? Oh, I can chisel it. Wow, really? Really? So you need to make a chisel to chisel it. Uh, we will need uh, 15 of those. So let's get 15 in there and let's go for... Chisel quartz. Perfect. We're going to throw that over here. Like the other ones. And press the button. There we go. We have the etetic one. Uh, we do need like a bunch of these. So I think I'm just going to make four more. And we will also need more black quartz. Maybe not. I'm not sure. So let's put that there. Press the button. That's cool. Alright, so let's grab this. Let's make just a couple. So let's make four for the start. I know we need more. Here we go. That's four. Ah, uh, we need nickel. Do I have nickel? I don't think I mine nickel because I was trying to keep it to get cinnabar. But alright, we're gonna get a couple of nickel. There we go. So yeah, if you didn't know about the auto smelt and the fortune, it's amazing. It's just amazing because, well, you, you, you pretty much double your ores without having to use anything. And you're always mining. I'm gonna mine this for a long time, I presume. So, alright. Uh, let's do this with that around. It'll give us this one. Perfect. So, this one will be used to make uh, this. So, this is iron. Let's make a stack of it. Uh, I've, got, I've got the material. Iron I do have. Well, I say this and I'm probably going to need way more eventually. But alright, so how many batteries do we need? We need one, one battery. Yeah, we need one battery. Alright. So let's do this, and then we replace that so that it doubles. Perfect. And so we have this, so now we need to make the copper tube. I do not think I have a copper tube. So I believe that's the recipe to make a copper tube. That's five of these and two redstone. Uh, two redstone and some sand. I hope I can make it. That's over here. Let's remove these. Let's go like this. Let's place that there. It should give us the four. Oh man, we need to make another one just because we need to actually craft the 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 piece in the middle. So I didn't think about that one. All right, let's put these there. Bam. We've got eight. So we should be able to craft all this. Two. Mm. Oh, I need three more of these. So like I said, we're lucky because we have enough to make... I'm too lazy to look for the recipe. This is better. Alright. There we go. We got the five. Now we need to make these again. Uh, I don't have gears. So, one, two, three, four. Oh, wait, let, let's check out a gear. Uh, the gear mold, uh, you need to have the engineering bench. Okay. I'm not... Well, I, I could be there, as this thing is not hard to make. We've got this. I hope that's, that's not how you make it. That's how you make it? Yes, okay. Uh, Alright, let's uh, grab some wood. Uh, with... Do I have, like, bottles? I believe I had bottles. Turns out I never used them. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I hope it's gonna work, because you used to be able to do... Uh, to, to grab... 
the liquid from there with bottles. Uh, you cannot. Uh, yeah, you can't. That's a bummer. Oh, and anyway, that's completely stupid. By the way, uh, I moved my things over here, and you might not know that because, well, I haven't told you. But uh, let's say I'm going to move this one over here. I'm going to place that there. So you see there's this thing in front? Let me put the liquid in there. Pretty sort of, well, it's going to tell you what's in there. And you can also stack them three high. Three or four. I, I think it's three. And that means that you're going to be able to have more. Oops, I thought that was the thing that I needed to use. Uh, no, let's do this. Start. 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 Alright, so we need three plus a crafting. So we should be good. Let's do... Can I do the recipe here? No, I cannot. There we go. And let's go over there. We're gonna grab that. Make ourselves a one of these. I believe it's a quest. Yes, it is. Okay, and then we need to make the mold. For this, you need a metal me So you need a steel plate, which I've already done because I knew we were gonna get there eventually. So with this thing, you will need three paper and three lapis. One, two, three. One, two, three. Like a so. There it is. You place that there, then it's five plates of steel. Plus your cutter. So it is expensive to make molds, guys. But, trust me, it's worth it. Uh, my tool is here. So there we go, now we can select. So we can press the metal mold. So this is an advantage because it will cost less. Uh, do we have Draconic Evolution? I don't think we do. So no Draconic Evolution, I'm surprised. A mod that does not have Draconic Evolution. Alright, we do have Bibliocraft though. So we can make a couple of these just to place our things on the ground. Uh, just so that we don't just place things on, like, you know, everywhere. So let's do this. That's a couple. And uh, bam, let's do three. We're gonna place that there. And let's go grab our things. This one, which we're gonna replace the other one with. There we go. And we're gonna place that one here. So now, if I do this... Oops. Wait, why is it not working? Does it need... Oh, it needs four! <laughs> okay, you still need four. I, I thought it was maybe going to be cheaper. But no, you still need four. So you need to throw your four. In our case, we're gonna make uh, four. Four for four. Because I know we'll need more. I know it rhymes, but that wasn't my plan. <laughs> All right, let's let it go. So we got two. We only need two to make the recipe we were trying to make. So, all right, uh, let's do this thing. So we need some uh, sticks. There we go. And some iron. So let's do this. Let's do that. A uh, one, two. And let's do empower. So this thing needs power as well. Uh, let's see, coal generator. What do you need? Oh, I didn't know both of them, like, 60. I don't know which one produces the most. This one you can infuse. So maybe this one is worth it. Uh, for the moment, we're going to place them here. And we're simply going to move that thing. Uh, or just pass the cable at the bottom for the moment. So you need to place the empowerer in the middle. You need two space on each side. And there we go. Things are connected. Uh, 
now you need to pass power to the four on the sides. The one in the middle does not need power. I do not think I have enough cables to do that job. I've got ten cables. Yeah, I do not have the cables for that. So let me make more make more cable. I'm gonna make more mold as well. Uh, as uh, we will need more mold to be able to make some cablings uh, later on. So, all right, let me do this. I'll bring you guys back after. Okay, so it's not full of power, but uh, we can start doing something. So one of the things we will need is to make a kinetic dynamo. And to make a kinetic dynamo, there's a couple of things you need. And one of them is the empowered dimatine. So for this, you need two. So what I did is I made a block and we're going to use the block to make the recipe. So if we look over here, we need two clay, one clay block and a light blue. So over here, I should have a bone. And I do have this. Together, they will make light blue. So let's do the recipe. So we're going to put one here. One there, two of these, and the block in the middle. So now they're going to start crafting. As you can see, the power kind of goes down quite quickly. So we're going to need to uh, to check that out. I'm going to need to have a way to get the power quite easily. Uh, but the water wheels will solve this issue. So that's kind of why we're going there. Come on, don't don't run out of power. Please don't run out of power. Oof. Okay, we had enough. Alright, so there we go. So we got nine of these, uh, which they're, they're used for way more things, like the power upgrade. Wait, we can make the power upgrade. I think we can make the power upgrade, guys. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that, that's going to wait, because to make the power upgrade, you also need, I believe, an RF storage. Yeah, RF storage. And uh, that's not the one, because, well, we can't well, we can make these. No, we cannot. Because I can't uh, crush anything. So we could make the RF control. But then again, it's refine iron, which you need steam, which we don't have yet. So we can't. That That's what I'm trying to say. So let's open those chests. They're probably going to be completely useless. Sand and gravel. <laughs> like I said, <laughs> completely useless. Uh, so let's put that in there. All right. So if we look at the recipe of the kinetic dynamo, uh, we need to make these. So let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to make two just because we can. There we go. Let's do this. Uh, just one, two, three, four. Oh, oh yeah. We, we need to mark the recipe. Forgot. There we go. It's going to give us two pack. There we go. So now we have eight. That is a good amount for me. The next thing we need Invar gear. So that means we need to make Invar in our smelter. And uh, Invar, let's just look at the recipe for Invar. Uh, that's two iron and one nickel. So we did make some nickel, so let's grab that. Stack this, separate it in two. That should give us a lot of the material that we need, so that is perfect. Uh, I do hope they don't mix. Oh, I can't put all of them at the same time. Uh, by the way, since I couldn't craft the hopper, I used the blaze hopper. If we look, that's made like this. It's cheaper than the other one, so... Shh. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> but yeah, I used that one instead. And it works well. It's the same thing. It's a hopper. Just uh, cheaper than a hopper. You know, plates and an iron chest. And the iron chest needs copper chest, which needs a slightly larger chest, which needs a normal chest. And the other one just needs a chest. Uh, oh, constant ten. No, we're getting Constantin. I didn't know. Dang it. Dang it! Uh, yeah, I made my firewood here. 
if you didn't know that's a, the trick, you just pour from somewhere else than the smelter. Oh, I forgot my thing. There we go. Perfect. Uh, no, let's place that one back. Okay. So let's put that there. Uh, I'm trying to get rid of uh, the copper so we can get more in Invar. Okay, let's put that there as well. There we go. Upper, we got four blocks left. Come on, cool faster. I really wish there was a tinker uh, add-on. Like, just to cool things faster. That would be so good. Hmm, yeah, a couple of things uh, different. There we go. Let's do this one as well, why not? There. Come on, come on. We're in a hurry. All right. Uh, I think you can do two or three more over there. I hope there's a, there's a something for me to use Constantine with. Wingets. Those are the last ones in there. Let's put these three. Now, well, let's look. Constantin. What can I do with ingots? Centrifugal separator. This, you could make sheet metal, which I presume they're going to be used. No, it's just completely useless. Uh, so at the moment, there doesn't seem to be much. Oh, wait. There we go. I have no idea what those machines are. <laughs> Literally no idea. So this one can make coins. Yeah, I'm not not sure about uh, what they're good for. Oh, the centrifugal separator, you can separate things. That's cool. Alright, so let's get our invar. That was why we were here. Uh, because after that, we need four to make one gear. Wow. Uh, yeah, they really broke everything. Uh, let's grab more uh, nickel. I should have known that nickel mixes with copper. It's not the first time I do this. Oh, let's not eat that. It's my best piece of meat. Let's put that in there. Do we have... Yeah, it takes forever for it to cool down, sadly. Okay, let's do that one as well. Come on. How many do we have here? We got exactly four. Oh, we got... All right, I think we have kind of have enough for three. So that should be enough. Oh, I would like one more. Just to make four gear so we can make two dynamo. Come on, give me... I saw two blocks and something, so we're gonna pour down the blocks and just grab this ingot. There we go, now we got 16. We throw that on there. It's going to give us a four of these. Oink. Poink. Oh, dang it. It's the wrong, the wrong one. I keep doing this. There's three left. Dang it! All right, we need to go smelt <laughs> the plates because that's not what we wanted. Are these finished soon? No. Dang it! I really wanted this to work. Well, give me that one. We're going to be able to make two just to make the recipe. The main thing, we want to make one. There we go. It's going to give us two gears. Oh, wait, I have two gears. Dang it, I keep miscounting everything. All right, so this thing, as you can see, it's not only used for this. Uh, we also need that. To make DHV wire, you need... 
So, well, to make DI voltage, you need eight of these, which needs aluminum and steel. And over here, as you can see, I made this one, which is for cable. So let's grab steel. Uh, I believe, let's do a steel cable. No. Uh, steel, this one. So it's going to give two per steel. So let's do eight. So this is going to give us some, oh wait, let, let me grab the aluminum at the same time. Why wouldn't I grab the aluminum? No. Seriously? Again? Nine? I keep counting eight and it gives me nine. Must be doing the, the stupid thing where it doubles stuff. There we go. We're going to put those there. I hope they don't despawn because sometimes they just go away and I'm not there. There we go. So with these you can make redstone. Uh, there's just one thing you need to be careful with these. Uh, if you use the actual wire to wire your things, they need to be insulated. Uh, wait, I don't remember. Uh, well, I know that you take damage if you actually, like, get hit by them. Because I was at someone else's base just looking around like I normally do. And I actually got hit. But they're invisible. You don't see them, but like I was getting hit. <laughs> so, yeah, that wasn't fun. Right, give me the last one. There we go. 16, 16. And now what we're going to do is we need to make GHV. So we need a stick. You can use a normal stick. I would think they would have changed the recipe, but no. If we can use the normal stick, I'm not going to use the other one. All right, so this is going to be able to give us an HV coil, like a so. Then the HV coil, hey, look at that, RF, we're getting close, all things we can do. We've got this, we need an Electrum gear, one, two, three, four, let's go grab the gear mold. There we go, let's throw these four over there to make us this and there was of course the last thing which is the intricate so over here we need two more redstone in there so let's just put two more and th three gold gold is something i'm kind of running out of so i've got to be careful with what i do with it oh there there's the need of water as well there we go. That should give it to us. We've got this one. Come on. Well, while this works, let's look out a water wheel. Wheel. Alright, so we need this. It's not that bad. We need to make this. So that means we need to go over there and use more of our planks. Let's use all 36. I hope I've got enough. It eh, should be good. All right, let's put that in there. There we go. I I, I don't know if he, I could just put like redstone signal a clock on it. Not enough liquid. That's not an issue. I've got so much liquid I'm trying to get rid of. I've got two full of these here so i think we can manage to get some over here all right there we go it's full now let's continue crafting this i never tried something uh, because our goal here is kind of also to find issues Okay, it crafted before I could. Okay, it's not gonna give it. Perfect, okay. That's what I wanted to test. <laughs> it's it's okay, it's not glitchy. So we kind of want three water wheels. So that's kind of the issue that we have at the moment. We need to make a lot. So we need to make uh, 12 of these. And these need three of these and four. 
of these. So that's kind of why I'm making some of these over here. Uh, let's grab this, grab that. All right, one, two, three, four. I can make five. So that's only one wheel. Wow. 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 We need a lot more than I anticipated. Let's see, our thing over here might be done. Yes, let's craft it. Then I'm going to make the water wheels and I'll bring you guys back just after. Well, I'm going to make the materials for the water wheels. Then maybe we'll have the time to place it. <laughs> I think I'm going to place it close to this here because we need to run the power. I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. But all right, let me make more of these things. All right, guys, so I didn't want to finish this episode without actually building the water wheel. So over there, I've got pretty much everything set up. Uh, it's a five by five by three. And in here, I accidentally made the <laughs> four wheels stuff. So I don't know why I thought it was going to work. But all right, let's grab a little bit of everything that is in here. I don't exactly know what the stuff I will need. So let's try to do this. So we were needing the kinetic dynamo. There we go. And a water wheel. There we go. We got three water wheels. So these, uh, what I want to do is place this guy there. Uh, and then oops, the wheels of the bus go round and round. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. Am I supposed to put it like this? Or wait, is this thing bigger than I anticipated? Uh, let's go like outside. Is it daytime? Yes, it is. All right, so let's go outside. Let's put... Uh, there we go. I can't place it. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm trying to place the wrong thing. <laughs> Let's try that again. With the correct thing in my end. Oh boy. There we go. Exactly the amount. Uh, the only thing I'm not sure is how this thing is facing. I believe the hole should be facing where your wheels are. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I didn't think about the fact that I need to get out of here. Okay, there we go. We will need to place some water as well. Oh, wait, I can't. How, how can I not place that? Can you, can you only do two? No, you can do three. It's normally how it goes two. All right, so I kind of forgot that you need to have liquid passing around. So let me redo this with the liquid in there for maximum efficiency. And I'll bring you guys back just after to see the final product with our passive power generation. That's going to be pretty cool. And I can just continue placing like maybe another one here and place them in the wall and stuff like that, just so we can have power from the wall. Exactly. So, all right. Let me continue this. All right, guys. Well, here you have it. It works. Uh, by the way, uh, I was completely confused. Uh, bamboozled or uh, other terms of the same length. Uh, this thing says zero RF. So I thought I placed everything wrong. I removed this thing, changed the orientation, placed the water wheels again, and nothing wanted to work. But uh, if you didn't know, uh, the best way to have the most power, it's 30 RF from the water wheels. And you can put it three at the top that's are going to flow all the way down to the bottom of it there. Over here, you want the water flowing that way, two blocks, and then you want to place something over there. And the same thing you're going to do, place water that side that's going to flow inwards. This is going to give you 30 RF a tick for each wheels. So this should in theory gives 90 RF a tick. And it kind of works because they just use a lot of power 
and it did replenish everything. You see, the cables are getting replenished as well. And so that means we've got power. Real freaking power. So I'm really happy because, well, these are really cool and we're probably continue going to use it. Uh, this thing, the survival generator, like I said, if it's super survival, if it's like easy, oh huh, man, the, these things are expensive for no reason. Uh, because you could make like a bunch of them because it, u it uses one block of coal for two hours and 30 minutes. So that's like you place yourself a room of like maybe 30, 30 of these and you've got 150 RF a tick for two hours and 13 minutes and you need 30 blocks of coal. So that's not bad. It's not this because this is like 90 RF a tick indefinitely. So yeah, maybe this is better. Maybe a room of these with just connections like that. Uh, I never remembered the leadstone cable can transfer 1000 RF. So you could connect 10 of these to one like these and it would work. So like I said, that may be something we end up doing. Just placing them around the base. Just, you know, just in the walls so we can have the power coming from them anywhere we want. That'd be cool. Or even we could make a room at the bottom or something of the sort. But... Guys, that is going to be it for today. I do hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you loved it, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. I look snazzy.